guys, it's Devin, and welcome back to our channel. Um, but I have Josh here with me today. Hello. And we're just going to answer some questions that you guys asked. Um, as you can tell, Josh made himself a fancy drink, and I'm just drinking the Relax, what is it, a Riesling? Yeah. Really relax wine. And I put an ice cube in it because I like it cold, but Josh said that that's not classy. <laughs> <laughs> the first question is, how does your husband feel about you doing YouTube? I, I like it now. I was a little reserved in the beginning because I didn't know if people are idiots online and make stupid comments and I didn't want her to get all upset every time somebody I said something. I tend to be sensitive. Yeah. He didn't think no. it was going to go anywhere. I was like, yeah. No, I didn't, didn't think I, anyone no, was going to follow I me. No, basically. I didn't think that. I didn't think that. I've been gaining lots of subscribers, but it's been slow. Like, some people start YouTube and, like, two months later they have 100,000 subscribers. Like, that's not our journey on YouTube. But I feel like it also gained faster than we were expecting it to. Yeah, and I used to make videos when I was younger. I loved it. You could probably and find them on YouTube in a, a gorilla suit at the, at the local there were, mall. There were different types of videos. Now I love it. I'm actually into it and it's fun and I think it's exciting and I watch and then your videos. Now that we're making and, like a little bit of money, you're like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Any money, I'm like, what? what? It's okay. a little bit, you guys. But. Yeah, it's not much. So our next question is... What's your favorite thing to do together when you don't have the kids? Date night. <laughs> so like, we actually like to make stupid videos to post on Instagram <laughs> instead of YouTube. But we like we like to go to the movies. We like to go out to dinner. I love Josh going out to dinner eat. because yeah, I would if I had the money, I would eat out and if I had the money and no kids. I would eat out every single night at like a different restaurant. I just love the dining experience. I love mm -hmm. craft cocktails and you know nice food. I like all food from comfort food to like fine dining but what I just I, love going out to eat so that's my favorite. What I like to do, you get annoyed that I like to do all the time on my spare time. Can you think of it? Clean? Nap? <laughs> I love napping, yes. No, house projects. Oh, I yeah. love doing house projects. I feel like when you have small kids, I'm sure you guys can relate if you have small kids, that it takes like 700 times longer to do house projects when you have little kids. So I feel like when I don't have the kids, it's like I can like bust it out, but you also don't really get much time together. So it's nice to spend time together and do something like painting a room. How have each of you changed since you first got married? You want me to go first? Sure. Um, I think what makes what I love about our marriage is we haven't made each other change a lot. Like the things, like the core of who we are, the things we like doing, whether they're important or stupid, we kind of allow each other to be who we are. And but I but obviously we have changed. Um, the kids really. <laughs> Course. Not that. I think, I mean, we were, I was 20 and you were 23 when we got married. We were very young when we got married. So I think, like, obviously, like you said, like, the core of who you are is the same. But I think, I mean, I am a totally different person than I was when I was 20. And I'm sure you are when yeah. you're 23. Like, you grow up. I think life experience, like, tragedies that we've gone through, things we've got. I think you just have a different outlook. I mean, I guess you're ne less naive. I guess you just change in that way, but I think our sense of humor is still kind of the same. You still love being silly and movies and being funny and going out and doing ridiculous things, but you're also not, you're not snowboarding like you used to. Yeah. You don't do that. Like you used to I play used football. I used to snowboard and nonstop and I, I've only, and golf and those, those are big two things so that that's having kids. you just don't have. Like I used to play guitar all the time and I used to do more artistic yeah. things, but you have kids, but personality wise I think we're kind of similar, but you know, like you said when you have kids it kind of changes Okay, um, in what ways are you most similar and in what ways are you most different? <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> we both hate dishes. <laughs> Yeah, but I that do is, them. It's an ongoing thing in We're our house. We're both hate the dishes, like, and I somehow end up doing. There's certain things that neither one of us like doing, and so we try to outlast each other. Like who can be the last one? Like I'll take the garbage and put it on the front step, and that to me is his cue of when you get home from work, you got to take That's the garbage. That's different because I literally don't even notice. But it I will hold out, and that garbage, you guys, will sit there sometimes for three days, and I'll literally be like, Josh. Do you not see the garbage when you walk inside? And he was like, no, I didn't see it. It's been there for three days. But <laughs> then we can't do that anymore because it's summer and, you know, you'll attract flies. I am like tunnel vision when I get home. I'm usually carrying like a hundred things yeah. and all I see is the door, which by the way, the door handle is broken right now. So you mm. have to like force your way into the house by like- Super fancy. But like battering ram. Yeah. So. I think I'm people think I'm like, I think our neighbors think I'm like an extremely aggressive person because every time we come in the door, I'm like beating him. I think we're both very stubborn. It's, it's a weird thing to go with it, but we're also very easygoing. So I feel yeah. like for the most part, we're just like, whatever. We don't really get. Yeah, we're both easygoing. Not much drama. I think we don't I'm really a little bit more that much. strong headed and determined than you are. Yeah. When you're like into a project, you're like determined, but I'm like just determined with everything. There's I way fewer <laughs> things I'm determined with. Like I just don't stop with anything. You're determined with like anything. Life. <laughs> <laughs> but I am an extroverted introvert. But you are an extroverted, extroverted, extrovert. Yeah. Like he just loves being around people. He would love to have people over just to nap. Like he just wants people all the time. I will talk to like the guy at the gas station for 20 Although minutes. Although I... I've been doing that lately, and I think that's because my dad used to do that, and I used to make fun of him for doing that, and now I'm like that random person talking to people online at the grocery store. Yeah. But I need to go home and like unwind. Josh is like, yeah, we'll be having over tonight, yeah. and I'm just like, nobody. I would have like a 24-hour day, like revolving door, like anybody's no. welcome. Like I'm that person that like. Uh, there, there's like a comedian that does a skit of like when you have company and like the kids run up to the door and like slide on their socks What's and they're like, name again? He's really funny. I don't remember. He's in Sebastian. Italian. Sebastian Maniscalco. He's funny. For, uh, was it like company or something? Yeah, he's very funny. But that's me. I'm like, as soon as I hear the door, who's here? And she's like, and I'm like ducking for cover. She's like, that like, who did you invite? Over? Yeah, yeah, that's what she says. <laughs> who did you invite? <laughs> Women, like, we don't like the stop by because if our house is not, like, cleaned up, you're, like, mortified. And then someone that comes by and, like, hey, can I just use your bathroom? And I'm just like, um, give me a second. Is, what right. would you say to a couple that's planning on starting a family? Run. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, starting a family, um, I would say uh, that you're never going to feel totally ready. I think that. Um, if you have all of your ducks in a row, then just go for it. Uh, like, I'm not just saying just like, go do it and figure it out as you go, but you're never going to totally feel ready and even afterwards, like along the way, like you're never going to feel like you know what you're <laughs> doing. <laughs> never. And it's hard, like, and I tell people, like, do as much as you want to do, like travel wise, like yeah. all that kind of stuff before you have kids because people are like, oh, I'll just travel with my kids. And they have this like romantic no. view of having a family. And that doesn't happen, you guys. Like it will happen eventually, but yeah, I feel you tra like. You travel to um, Lego World. <laughs> <laughs> like having kids, I think, is like the best, most awesome thing that we've ever done, but it's like mm -hmm. also the most exhausting, difficult thing <laughs> that we've ever yeah. done. I think like do the things you want to do like for like yourself. The selfish things. The first. selfish things first because once you have kids, it's just all about them. It and is. It awesome. is awesome, but it's like whatever you wanted to do before, it's put on major hold. Yes. So, what so. goals have you accomplished together so far, and what are some goals you are still reaching? Um, I brought you to Europe. Yeah, and I loved it. We, um, I was a big traveler. I know exactly already what you're gonna say. I, you know the story. I was, I was always a big traveler as a kid. My mom, I think I've said that before, is born and raised in Holland. So we used to travel a lot when I was a kid to visit family. And then once you're in Europe, it's like easy to go around. So I think I was kind of spoiled in that way, thinking that was normal. But when me and Josh got married, 
he had never left the country before. They were like a huge Disney family. They went to Disney every year. I had been to Disney before as a kid, but it was only once when I was like seven, and it was obviously great. But his family was like Disney obsessed. You guys like obsessed. Is not was. Still obsessed. So I remember when we were like, I think it was our first trip. I was like 21 together, first big trip together. Um, and I was like, let's go to Europe. We should go to Italy. I saw this great like deal in Italy, and he was like, um, why do we need to go to Italy? I've been to Epcot. <laughs> <laughs> and once Josh went to Italy, he was like, oh yeah, like this is amazing. Yeah. Absolutely. But we also did some volunteer work um, in Mexico. We went there for a month. Oh, the food, like. And that was kind of a big goal of ours to yeah. like do like a volunteer trip. That was before we had kids. Yeah. And what was another goal? To buy a house, I think. 23 and 26, we bought this house. Yeah, well, our goal, one of our goals was to buy the house. This house goal we was to have children. Though. We wanted to have a boy and a girl. We obviously that was love. That was well. <laughs> that was, was really love. focusing. We were actually bought this house to flip it. It wasn't like our dream house. We bought it and our plan was to flip it. Josh's family, a lot of them are really into like um, construction and contractors and super handy. So a lot of them like helped us out a ton um, with this house. And then I think once we got working on it, we were I think like, by the time we were working, we were starting to like it. But then once we had kids, I we're like, we're think we were like, we can't flip. We can't do And this now again. we're in this huge. Because we pretty debacle. much. We pretty much completely, like, we got pretty much house. gutted it and started over. So. And this house is pretty small. It's like 1,100 square feet. And I think we're in this spot right now. This is probably going to go off on a ta tangent. But that we, for those of you that don't know, we our house got affected by a tornado a couple months ago. So we have, like, a small hole in our roof and our patio got trashed. So now we're like, if we're going to do an addition. We're going to do it now because we're ripping off our roof. So. so if Lowe's wants to sponsor us, we would... Love yeah, yeah. to work with you. <laughs> <laughs> kind of around, along those lines. In a perfect world, what would your dream house look like? Oh, man. Farmhouse. Yeah. I actually love capes, too. Um, I think right now there's this huge trend in farmhouses, so everyone's like, oh, I want a farmhouse. But um, when I say farmhouse... We liked farmhouses before Pinterest. Before it was right? a thing. Um, Josh always says I was Pinterest before Pinterest. Pinterest w ruined our style. I know. Because now everyone's like, oh, did you guys get that on Pinterest? And I'm like, no. Are there drink recipe videos in the near future? Yes, Josh really wants to do that. He is like a mixologist. I you would well. think that we were alcoholics if you came to our house because he's a massive wardrobe full of alcohol, but I like rarely drink. Wait, there's a hollow chewing on. If you guys are interested in that, let us know in the comment section below if you'd be interested in him doing like a cocktail type drink or if you want him to do like his favorite kind of cocktails do you have requests um leave that in the comment section i could do you know it'd be cool yeah i could do like a cocktail for each spirit like depending on what you like like my favorite people don't know what that means what do you mean spirit nobody's gonna know what that means <laughs> okay i could do a video uh <laughs> A recipe for every type of alcohol. So this is going to be the last question, and it's a question for Josh. Apollo, sit. Good boy, wait. Wake up. And it is, do you want any more children? That's a loaded question. <laughs> it's actually a question for both of us, but I figured I'd ask you. <laughs> See what you said. I would say this. if. Finan finances were no, what's the word? If, Obstacle. Ob like if they weren't, no, that's not the word I'm looking for, but yeah. But if like finances weren't even a thing and we had all the money in the world and I didn't have to worry about that aspect of it, um, I wouldn't be opposed to having one more mm -hmm. um, or adopting or something like that. But um I've always wanted more than two. I always pictured having like three or four kids, but um, I did not have very easy pregnancies and we had two miscarriages in between them and I ended up with two C-sections, so we did not have the best um, scenario for that. So I think that if we had another one, I wouldn't want it to be biologically from my womb. <laughs> I always said that 
I wanted, I always wanted to adopt ever since I was younger, I always wanted to adopt. I don't know if that's something that is in our cards, but it's always kind of in the back of my mind, and if we ever have the um, ability or circumstances for it, then it's an option that we keep open, but um, not sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you already subscribed to our channel, um, thanks for subscribing. <laughs> if you're not the thumbs up. <laughs> if you're not subscribed, definitely click that subscribe button below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time.